Hello everyone, Flute Ninja here, back with uh, another Let's Play, and this time we're heading back to console. Now a lot of things has been uh, happening lately with me, well not lately, but somewhat recent. Um, I had a new PS2. What happened to my old one? Uh, it's a story you guys are not expecting. You see, my aunt gave me a gift card for Amazon that had like 50 bucks in, in it. So what I wanted to do was buy two games. The first one was Tony Hawk Downhill Jam for the DS because I own a 3DS and that is uh, that allows me to play regular DS games, so that's good. And the other game that I wanted to buy was Gran Turismo 4, which at the time, I only owned the third game. And, and a lot of people have been saying that the fourth game is the best in the series. Um, here's what happened. When I went to play Gran Turismo 4 on my old PS2, the game wasn't working. I thought this was because uh, they sent me an unworkable disc, so I, had to f so I had to throw that away and rush order a new one. But what, the second copy that I owned, it also didn't work. So, I had to do a little research, and apparently the PS2 Slim, which was my first PS2, it wouldn't allow me to play um, certain games, and Gran Turismo 4 was one of them. So, for my birthday, I had to buy a... I wanted to buy a PS2 Fat and see if that would allow me to play Gran Turismo 4. And sure enough, it does allow me to play Gran Turismo 4. So, the problem wasn't so much that my copy wasn't working. The problem was that my PS2 Slim, or PS2 Slim in general, are not dis are not Grand Turismo 4 but cannot be played on a PS2 Slim. That was the conclusion I came up I came to, but I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff, so be my guest if you want to say. But um story time over! Um So the game that we're gonna be let's playing right now is the Family Night video game. Uh not the bat not back to the multiverse, not that one. We're not gonna do um I don't know what copy. I only have um this game, which um you guys are not gonna believe this, but uh, a, ch a channel that I'm subscri subscribed to, um, who I will not mention because I don't want to, you know, for for um, personal reasons. They they told me that they were gonna do a review of this game, and I eventually want to do a let's play of this game sometime soon. So you, I guess you can say it's like a little coincidence if you want to call it that, but. But, story time over. We're doing a Let's Play on Family Guy the video game, PS2. Not Back to the Multiverse. I don't know what copy of that game, but... Marie, uh, but, uh, my friend Maurice told me that he didn't... He w was not very fond of, um, Back to the Multiverse, so... I'm not gonna do a Let's Play on that one, guys. I'm sorry. Still out here, huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian, and nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really care for that show. Put out kind of a weird vibe. I think this is the one where Mr. Belvedere sits on his own nets. And there's the weird vibe. This is a day to remember, Rupert. My mind control device is complete. As soon as I broadcast my commands over the Fat Man satellite dish, I shall be the most powerful dictator since Dick Cheney. Uh, why the devil are you dressed like that? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I just, I just don't understand your need to prance around like a scoutmaster on Labor Day weekend. What the hell is going on out there? Bertram, did your mother stop cleaning their carpets long enough to let you out of the house? That was a jab at their sexuality. I'm here for one thing, and one thing only, Stuart. Your satellite dish. So, um, shortly after the toilet game, let's go over the gameplay a bit, shall we? Wow. Oh, marvelous. I see you stopped touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get over it. Okay, so what we're going to be playing is one of three different gameplay styles throughout the game. Um. For a third of the game, we're going to be taking control of Stewie, and the gimmick with his stage is that they are all third-person third shooters. Now, as we go along, there's going to be some parts that kind of remind you of a certain game that I did a Let's Play on 
about six years ago. Let's see if anyone can spot it before I reveal it. Do you see that? It means you can activate this object by pushing the button, dumbass. Yeah, thanks for the education stuff, Stewie. So, um, with interactables, if you press the triangle button, of course they'll give you an indicator, you'll do certain uh, actions. Um, obviously, access to jump, the double tapping axe will let you do a double jump, and there's also a new, uh, there's also a mechanic that if you press the, um, X button three times and hold down the third button, we're gonna get to that later. Too high for you? Try hitting the jump button again when you're at the top of the first jump, genius. Now those power-ups that we've been collecting. Right now, for, for right now, we have to collect all the power-ups in this particular section. So we did Stewie's bedroom, now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. My boyfriend, Prince William, got me this beautiful watch. I'm not a- Do you hear yourself talk? I might kill you tonight. May was about to say, I'm not a boy. I must find enough power-ups to charge my ray gun. And then, Bertram, as First Lady of the American stage, Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you. I'll touch upon the power-ups in a moment. Stewie, guess what word I'm thinking of right now. It's not kid. I really wouldn't know. Go on. Guess a word. Oh, but it's not kid. Is it kitty? <gasps> Get out of permission to freak out. Get out of my head. Permission to freak out. He was about to say, Get out of my head. My radar just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step in Brian's butt chocolate. I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. Okay, so the guard. So Stewie can carry one of two different kinds of a um, guards. What we have been recently um, holding was a blaster guard. What he has now in his possession is a mind control guard. And the way it's going to differ on which gun you're holding, that's what the face and the gun indicator is for. Like, they'll switch and let you know which gun you're holding. So for this one trigger section, if we hold down the square button, and get Lewis, get Lois. Uh, honey, I'm doing the dishes. Damn! It appears the microwave is disrupting my mind control. I shall need to use an indirect method. Perhaps something involving the dog? Okay, so we can't get to that microwave because the radiant, uh, the radioactive thing is, uh, getting in the way. So, if we just... Control Lois. Hey, what's in this closet? And when you're mind controlling person, you can't oh, do. What's that smell? Oh no. When you're mind controlling so somebody, you can't really do much with the mind control person except move and interact. Well, my my, Mr. Hoover's come to visit. Uh, what? What are you doing? I, I, I don't want to see Mr. Hoover. It's not cool. Ah, the toast is ready. And basically, exit out of that, you just press the O button. I must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram, and then perhaps work on a sweet tan. And there we go, we have our indicator. And there we go, our face and our project gun indicator are switched. Now, if we collect our 20th power up, then now we can fire a gun. Pressing the square button gives us our rave of projectiles. And we can destroy shit with theirs. I knew you knew at this, but how about targeting our enemies with a lock on feature? It's there for a reason. Hmm. A project. A rave like attack? A lock-on feature? 
third person perspective? Let's see if anyone can catch up. I think there's one more. There's a couple more left. If you hold it down, you can achieve a greater release. No, it's not Mega Man. Oh, no, seriously. It, it, it can't be Mega Man. A Cypher attack has a charge shot. And I don't know why that would be your first guess if I've never let's play the Mega Man games. At least on the channel. Curse that helicopter! Go all flat down on it. I should destroy the remote and its owner. Excellent! One of my skyhooks! Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks. Oh, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and I'll get more power-ups for my ray gun. Stewie just basically took the words out of my mouth. Ow! These cutaway gads are supposed to be a Family Guy's take on mini games. Hmm, a grappling like mechanic? That's quite a gap. Time to use my glide apparatus. Hmm, so let's go down the list. Third-person perspective shooter with platforming, L ray projectiles, lock-on feature, a grappling s mechanic, and the gliding ability. Ah, uh, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, Stewie's uh, sections in this game or his levels are mostly like PK out of the shadows. And I think they're a bit of a watered-down version, if I'm telling you the truth. That's just me, and I'll, and I'll explain why later. But for now... How dare you defy me! Not so fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. Hey, keep it down up there! If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fools! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish! Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where did you get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stewart! Okay, some kind of squirrel or Meg, stop interrupting my program! like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out. Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. You know, I have to come out to this hospital so often. They should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I'd better get to the fat man before he does. Hey, keep out of there! Huh. There doesn't seem to be any obstacles or anything lately, or anything right now, so I guess we can just go pass by. We have a cold ground! Baby with a ray gun! Help! Ah, shit. All right, you medical faggot. This is the big one. Time to earn our pay. This is funny, Lord. As soon as I can myself down into the trap, soon I can afford the trap. Move, move! Hey, Bertram, what the hell are you doing? Stop it! Victory is Stewie's. So, yeah, for this particular section, um. Those, um, doctors in the blue will respond infinitely until you take out the, um, nurse that's holding the button. 
And this is one of the reasons why I think their Stewie sections are basically watered down versions of PK Out of the Shadows. Because I I swear, I played the game before, 80% of your enemies are close range. Um, they attack you at close range, like a simple fist. As opposed to every enemy in PK Out of the Shadows would attack you for long range. Yeah, this uh, Stewie's level AI for the enemies are not the brightest in the room. If I destroy that great junction box, these laser walls will disappear. So there's that. My ray gun class will ricochet off these walls at use by yours. And you went slipping glue to the geometry class, Gable. Okay, did anyone notice that the doctors took that one doctor in the center right here took two hits when the rest of them took only one? What's with the inconsistency? There we go. Now this is something that doesn't exist in uh, PK and the Shadows. Where you can actually shoot while- Security, there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Security to the nurse's shower, please. When does a baby get a ray gun? Who knows? Go Brown! Oh! My duodenum! Victory is Stewie's. But yes, uh, this thing. If you pull down the R1 button, assuming you're playing the PlayStation 2 version, you can actually stand still and shoot in any direction. And it's not limited to just eight directions. I mean any direction. But trust me when I say this, you bar you barely use it throughout the entire game, and ha and most of the time you're gonna forget if you even have it. <laughs> oh man, look at him squirm. Okay, this section. Uh, it hurts. Aren't you guys dead yet? In this a schedule to keep. In this so Walter is an electricity. A wonderful combination when thinking about him. So this particular section, we want to do a little platforming because, um, this wire and electricity is, no, you do not want to touch that. I think it is possible to escape if you get trapped in it, but you do not want to get in there. And apparently, and also, there's also these, uh, doctors that, um, have an electrical fuse field. And if you guys pretty tell us what it's right, you just gotta wait till the what till their electricity dies out. And jump at the right time. To avoid taking damage. No no, I'm gonna try to get all the power-ups. Normally, I will be overjoyed at causing this much destruction. I have more pussy. Shit, 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 shit. Oh yeah, that's another reason why I'm not a bit, uh, why they're watered down version of the Gather the Shadows. Stewie's jumping, um, is not the best, is the best way I can say it. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I swear his jumping is so damn stiff. Damn it! Come on. I don't care if I took damage. I just want to get that power up. Alright. Victory is mine! There it is. Let's shoot these and get some power. Oh yeah! The health system! Um... So, you may have noticed that the health blocks come in yellow and green. Basically, if a health block comes in yellow, it replenishes a quarter of your health. If it's in green, half your health. Security, there is a man in a red and yellow. I need a condenser from an electron microscope and a coil from an MRI machine. 
And then, you know, whenever it's convenient, I'm kind of a need for three or five. And no, there is no black that uh, restores your restores Stewie to full health. Well, you were holding a needle, so yeah. You're a good pimple, dog. No, I hate it. <laughs> wow, this is just like Bible camp. This is how my family shows love. <laughs> Ow. No, I'm not. Good old. This model, the aperture is all the way at the top. Because the Koreans and their slip sharp ergonomics. No, I'm not afraid of needles. I've kind of grown out of them now. I kind of got over my fear of needles now. But you're trying to give a needle to the baby, so you can imagine their fear. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Me on the big screen. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm looking good. Come on, we do not want to start all the way to the bottom again. Okay, I want to make sure I get all of them. Okay, I know I said I didn't want to do this section again, but I gotta try again to see if I missed any. Because I swear I'm missing so I'm missing one. Oh yeah, by the way, that red laser, touch it, it's it, it's innocent kill. No, I'm not making that up. Stewie cannot touch a laser or he dies. I just want to double check if I if I missed any uh, if I missed any power ups. Okay, shut up. God damn it! You know what? No, no, we're trying again. Come on, I want to double check. Oh my god! I almost thought I fell down there. Oh my god! Why is the jumping not responding very well? Your heart means to surgery. Okay, let's double check. Let's double check. Let's double check. Okay, no, I did not. Okay, so this is pretty good section. You see that nurse over in the glass window? Yeah, we gotta find a way to get her out of there. Oh lord, it feels like I'm gonna get birth to a football team. How do I lure out that shrew? Guess I should find a way to use the pedals. So, how do we do that? Simple. You can assume. All right, that's one. You best stop that. Make me then. Yeah, these are the different kind of babies you can get. Dr. Hartman to surgery. Dr. Hartman to surgery. Hey, only interns are allowed to do that. Take it. Enough is enough, you little brat. Why am I bothering? I think interesting has come out of there in six years. Okay, now for this next section. Okay, okay, let's make some barricades. Whatever it is, we've the got to stop. The doctor said there it. might be explosive complications. I wonder what that means. All right, so here's the gimmick with this section. You see these targets right here? What what happens when you knock them down? Attention is needed to stop. Oh, look, coming through. You see those nurses that were just roaming around? Yeah, they, these doctors do stay down in... And my boyfriend works at the armory, so... Those doctors do stay down in one hit, but they don't die instantly. If those nurses heal those doctors, they will get back right off! Soon, Bertram, your oven shall come. 
they will get right back up. So, for this one section, get rid of the nurses ASAP. And because we got enough power, we can update our gun. Is there any more? Victory is mine! Oh, that takes care of that. Okay, I think we didn't miss any power ups, so let's continue on. Nothing wow. Wow, this laser grid is more complex. I must direct my ray gun blasts more accurately. Okay, so pretty much the same as the section, Dr. Section. Just be careful. Put the laser beams. Ouch! Well, good. There we go. Now we just gotta get that one. And booyah. That's down. Piss off. And piss off. This is not a drill. Oh, it's gonna be a drill, alright. A drill for you people. Dr. Davis, surgery. You left your watch on. Ah! Enemy sighted. Piss off. Go ground. Ah, right in the scapula. Yeah, piss off, both of you. Now let's get these power-ups. The MRI machine. Hmm, it's in use. I should have to find the power switch. A stray blast could destroy the equipment. I must use mind control. Well, here we are, another mind control device section. This time... We are Duke Quagmire. And this little piggy went back to my place for a roofy collab. All right. But the deuce, it's that pervert from next door. What is he doing here? Okay, so near the end of this particular section with Stewie, you basically should have 120 power-ups. No mind to control? Um... You doing okay? Want a soda? I'll take one, please. Oh my god, female x-rays! Ah, hey, anyone have a towel? I'm getting using mine right now, uh, Quagmire, so it's gonna have to wait. Hey, wanna play doctor? Oh god, I'd rather die! Oh, why is no one helping? So this is the gimmick with this part. You basically have to get three of nurses into those laser uh, beams. But there's three of them and there's four laser beams. How do we get the fourth one through? You'll find out in a moment. Hey Nurse, can you examine this alone? Ugh, pervert cootie. Just wait until they hit the laser. Oh God, oh God, why am I still alive? <laughs> Are you the head nurse? Stay away from me. So here we get number four. Basically made Quagmire run into it. Now we have to read this. That's it for now for Stewie. Huh. Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Seabreeze? Hey! Boy, you smell... <laughs> inseminated. 
I can't believe you're pregnant again. God, didn't you learn anything the last time? Would you like some water? A treat? Towel to bleed on? I knew it! Arrest this dog! He violated my restraining order and impregnated Seabreeze! What? No, I didn't! He's lying! And he's not Caucasian! Oh. I'm not the father, Joe. Unless you can prove that, Brian, we gotta lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny! Horowitz, I'm looking at you! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Laugh it up, guys! This is in poor taste! So now we're going to enter the second of three gameplay styles, and... Okay, rule one for fugitives. Don't let anyone see you. We're going to do that in the next part because we are almost out of time. So, I will see you all in part two as we do the Brian level. See you then.